Hey everybody, this was Swing 2, week 6, the last week. My name is Leah. I'm Freeman, and uh, this week's theme was solo jazz and working it into our swing dancing in different ways. And we did a lot of playing around with letting people just, giving some examples and letting people try their own things too, but these are some concrete things that we did. Um, so the first thing was... What was the first thing? So we started with the breakaway and then coming back together. Okay, so, and the breakaway we did was the rock step, triple step, rock step apart, and then we're ready to eight, one, two, three, four, five, boogie forward, eight, one, three, five, seven, eight. So that was the really basic one we did. So breakaway, two eights, or like one eight coming apart, one eight coming together, and then rejoining because we did this as like a musical thing, not just an arbitrary thing. So you really want to listen to the music when you separate, so that when you come back together, it's probably a one or the beginning of a phrase. It's just something that goes with the music. So this gives you time to like do a move and think about the music. But we were also practicing it. So one eight apart, one eight together. So that was a boogie forward back together. And then we did a thing where we, um, we, we both turned on five because people thought it was cool. So we had one, two, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Just like trying a lock turn. Um, and then leaders, so we could result in open, but leaders, you can also be just a little bit more assertive. And like, if you're coming back to your partner, slide into the side into close position so you can start something definitively. Because this is also time we need to listen to the follow. So if I come up to my follow and I give her my hand, she might be still doing a move that I need to listen to and not like pull her out of. So this is something where we really need to like listen and play off each other. But if I need to be assertive and be like, no, we need to start, can slide into side so you can lead something a little more uh, definitively. And then, so we did the boogies, but then we, have, we let people like kind of try some other moves too and it's just about breaking away and coming back together and not stressing out not freaking out when you're not with a partner and um, then we tried some solo jazz steps um, in the dance like as an individual thing so for example we did the slide slide out so uh, uh like in a pass One, So there was some of uh, letting my follow try it, um, and then I can also try it. Shoot. And then, and we talked a little bit about how sometimes you hit a slide, maybe that means there's no rock step after it, you can just come right back in, because if my follow does it at the end of a pass, there might not be a rock step. I might rock step, she might be holding her shape. And then we both come in on the end. So, so let's show that really quick. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom. I think I love that. It's awesome because the, the follow's doing her thing, but she's also responding. And then I'm also listening and making sure I'm not pulling her like off her axis and stuff. So that was awesome. The slides went well. So other things that we showed that you could do, we had uh, breezy knees. Um, we had dragging. What else we could have? Blow downs. And the breezy knees were good for like, if you reconnect with your partner, but you still want a little time to do something, instead of just reconnecting and immediately starting, you can reconnect, you can breezy knee. Uh, trucking is good for being in front of your partner. Or mess around. Mess around. Um, yeah. So we talked about how sometimes playtime can be in front of your partner. We don't need to break away. You could just get in front of your partner and keep a groove going. And that's some of those options that are that are good for that. Or you can try to insert those uh, within the dance, like for example, the pass that we did. Um, like I could do shorty charge yeah. or camel walks. Me two leaders. So, but the nice emphasis that we had on that was letting the follows kind of kind of play. So leaders, you lead a six count, and the follow can either say, okay, I'm going to do your six count and like do a little thing with it, or I'm going to take a little longer 
in liters, we have to listen. So when Leah just did the, uh, the, the camel walks, I could feel that that was longer. So I just chilled out and I took a little longer to do it with her. So that turned it into an eight count. So we played with that idea a little bit too. Um, then we had a leadable move. The rocks. The, the rocks cool. Yeah. Um, so follows, you're going to step, step, triple step, leaders. We're going to step, 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 but we go step, 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 step. Whew. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to get my follows arm at my side so she can really feel the tilt of my body. So I'm not just holding it out here. I've got it here and we rock. And then when I want to release, I kind of feel where my follow is, open it up and then go into something. Because we can also do a quick exit, but this is a partner thing, a social thing too. So we want to feel like that energy and we can do a slow exit or a tight exit. So real, real quick, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, who, ha, who, ha, ha, who, good, uh, something. Just flow out of it. Yeah, that's awesome, rocks. And the final thing was the rotational move we did yeah. just walking around walking around in a circle so i'm gonna rock step i'm gonna keep it to like triples a little bit but then we can just kind of do our own thing boom five, five. so we talked about just keeping this loose i'm not like i'm not forcing her to do anything in particular so she can really be free and, and do like whatever she wants and we're just aware of each other with the connection and also i can do that but then we talked about if I tighten up, so if like we're loose and then I tighten up, we can do like twists. So you can add extra connection to that too, but that's a nice, easy, just like go into a circular moment, play around with it. And then leaders, when I want to exit the circle, if, I'm, if we're in the circle, if I want to exit the circle, I create a line out of the circle and that, that lets us uh, result in that. So we'll just show it maybe just just playing around. That would be the general idea. The last one was we can start a circle. I can let it float up, keep the connection. And then go into something else. Yeah. I think that was everything. Awesome.